Classroom Tools is the ability to assign a copy of one thing to every student. Each student then gets their own copy, automatically attaches their name to it, automatically is added to their drive, automatically for you added to a folder for that assignment in your classroom folders that Google makes for you. So this video is going to walk through the process of assigning a blank doc that can be used for a template for writing in. And then the kit, I'll go on to the student account so you can see the typing happening in real time. And then that way you can also see how you can provide feedback in real time by going in and making comments and editing their assignment. So I have classroom bookmarked right here, but you can always get there by just typing in Google Classroom in the Omni box. Or if you come down to the apps button and click on drive first and then click the apps button again and click more, Google Classroom will be down there. Uh, I'm going to be doing this in the sample classroom. You'll see all of my classrooms that I have stacked up on this page. So I'm going to go to the sample one where we have one student. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the plus button in the upper right hand corner and then choose create assignment. Uh, what I can now do is I can say that this is the essay we're going to be writing. I can put instructions here if I want and I can add a due date and a topic as well. And then I'm going to want this to go to all students specifically because I only have one student. But if you clicked here, you can now also differentiate in between uh, your one classroom. So if I had multiple students, I can click off all students and then I can select any of the students that are here. So if I have a project that I only want a certain amount of kids to do or certain students to do, I can click their names off. It will go directly to them, but not everyone else. And this is a really cool new tool that Google put out recently that lets you really differentiate and individualize your education within a specific classroom. So what I'm going to do since I have a drive, uh, I have a document in my drive is I'm going to click on the drive logo and I'm going to attach the defense against the dark arts essay. And then I'm going to come over to the right where it says students can view file. I want every student to have their own copy. If it's students can view, then they're just going to be able to see it. And one of the good reasons that you would want to use that is so that way, if you have a slides presentation that you want every kid to be able to see on their screen and you're not using Pear Deck, you can put up a slide and the kids can interact with that right on their screen. Uh, students can edit. This is where every student can edit one individual file. So that might be a little bit messy if you're doing a whole entire class. That would be good if you were doing group work and you have already made copies of a template and you assign them to those kids that are just in that group so they can work in small groups on that one file. For our purposes, I want to make every copy or each student a copy themselves and I'm going to click assign. And then this will populate on my stream. And if I go over to my student account, which you can't see because I'm working on a Chromebook with this, it's going to populate on their stream. And then I'm going to, on their screen, click open on the assignment. And then I'm going to open that up and work inside of it. And I can now see this in a few different spots. If I clicked right here on the assignments part, I can click on where it says done, not done. And this right here is our test student. So I'm going to click on that essay and it will pop open. And I will know that the, the test student is in there because they also have up here their logo in the upper right hand corner. And on my, the other screen, on the student screen, I can see my picture. There are, and there are other ways to see this. If I go to my drive and I go to my classroom folder that Google's made for me, I go to the sample classroom. It's then made a folder specifically for this essay. Every student's essay in that class will populate in here and you can hover over it and you'll notice that it adds the student's name directly to that file, which also will show up in the upper left hand corner next to this. And then the student writes, this is horrible writing, by the way, I'm writing this essay because you made me, which is crazy because all of our defense against the dark arts teachers are evil. Ah. I can now come back as the teacher. I can come here and I can choose to make comments. So if I wanted to say, I can highlight specific parts. 
and I can write a comment and I can say we aren't all crazy and that's now going to show up on the student's account and the student will be able to see that. I can then also highlight this. I can make a comment. This is not a good thesis. The student will be able to take all of these things and the student can then make edits on their own. And once they do that, it can resolve that issue. This is really beneficial if you are writing an essay or if you would just assign them a template, you can make this essay look however you want, or this doc look however you want. You can make columns, you can add in directions, make every kid a copy and they all work through it. You can do the same thing with slides. You can set up an entire slides presentation the exact way you want it as a template. And then you can send that to every kid and have them all work on their own individual copy. And once again, from Google Classroom, you can see all of the students' files listed here but it also will then make you a folder of that in your classroom folder for that in your drive to help keep you organized.